My name is Kristen Smith Shrimplin, and I am the president and CEO of Women Helping Women. Women Helping Women's mission is to prevent gender based violence and to empower all survivors. For over 46 years, Women Helping Women has been at the forefront of innovating change in our region as we respond to survivors. We show up in real time when and where they need us most. We show up 24-7, 365 days a year. We show up in the courtrooms, on college campuses, at the workplace, in the emergency room at the hospitals. We show up on scene at homes. We get out of the bricks and mortar and we're into the community because we're a community-based agency by, for, and about the community. We show up. We show up guided by our core values of being survivor-centric, empowering, inclusive, collaborative, and innovative. And we show up to prevent gender-based violence before it ever starts because the simple fact is this, gender-based violence is a public health epidemic and it requires a public health solution. We're the only comprehensive community-based service provider of gender-based violence, including the only rape crisis center in our four county region, Hamilton, Butler, Brown, and Adams counties. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and for all of the mission champions out there like you. I am so proud of Women Helping Women's Work. I am so proud of our staff, of how they show up and serve survivors, because it matters. It matters how they show up with their core values of our agency, their character, and their skills. So thank you, team, for all that you have all done. And I think it's best right now to let you hear directly from them. Hi, my name is Wayne Williams, and I am our Divert Program Director. Through our Divert Program, we sent out expertly trained advocates on 1,211 calls with the police. We talked to 11,441 survivors on our 24-hour crisis hotline. Women Helping Women completed our first full year of providing advocacy services at Butler County Domestic Relations Court. We provided 978 services for survivors. We added three new staff members to our team in order to ensure that every survivor got the support that they needed. We gave survivors $57,713 to help them with transportation, food, and other basic needs to keep them and their families safe. We taught 3,000 863 students with our Prevent and Empower program. El número de sobrevivientes latines que accedieron a nuestro servicio se aumentó en un 426%. Además, tenemos consejeros bilingües trabajando con nosotros actualmente. We met 362 survivors in area hospitals after a sexual assault had occurred. We had 1,248 unique donors invest in Women Helping Women's work to empower survivors. Our LGBTQ advocate worked to provide compassionate, equitable services to all survivors, regardless of gender identity or sexual orientation. In 2019, we taught over 1,600 Greater Cincinnati community members about gender-based violence prevention. We had 125 volunteers complete over 14,000 hours of work for the agency. So I know this isn't a traditional annual report, but that's not what we're about. We're not about doing things the old way. We're about trying new innovative approaches. We hope you liked this virtual report. And it's also important to us that we're transparent and we acknowledge both our finances as well as the incredible support that we get from donors like you. So please check out the link below in this video and take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you to every person, foundation, organization, and company that supported Women Helping Women this year. Without you, none of this would be possible. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much to our donors. That wouldn't have been possible without each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We could not do this without your support. Thank you. Thank you. 
We are so thankful for your support. I just want to say thank you so much. Spread love, spread positivity, and I hope you are remaining safe during this pandemic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.